welcome to Farming Simulator on Cobra Park Farm. Sorry for no video yesterday, as the heat went from being pretty mild to extremely hot, so I felt like crap all day. The weather changing like that, I, I didn't deal with it too good. So what we're going to be doing is getting going, we're going to collect all the bales because I believe we're full of bales in there. Get this guy going too. Why did the door open? Weird. Strange. Or is five. My oh, phone help's gone again. Why does that keep switching off? No, I don't want to save. Not yet. Hmm. Oh, no. Unrealistic, I know. This combine's probably go along with the door shut all the time, but I have no idea. Why that open? No, completely screwed up all the combine. Just work, please. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, uh, I ain't screwing with that door already. So, I do want to announce that I got finally access to Fishing Planet. Planet Fishing. Why can I never remember where around it goes? The fishing game I've been talking about. Unfortunately, until the uh, next build of the game comes out, so basically the next update, I cannot make any video for it. I've been told not to, so I'm going to stand by that. I don't know if it's just for me or whether other YouTubers have uh, been allowed. I don't know. But what, I'm, what am I seeing right now? Because I can talk about it is the games, if you like fishing, the game's good. It will be featuring on my channel. It's not going to replace Farming Sim, it's going to be like another video or something. Something I do want to announce, another thing that's kind of I need to talk about is I'm going to Canada, not for as long as usual by any shape or form, but I'm going soon for 42 days. Two of those weeks will be camping, therefore no internet, therefore no videos. What do you guys want to see? I could do 15 minute videos for the whole two weeks and pre-upload them obviously, or I can do like an hour and a half long video midweek on like say Wednesday for example. I want to know what your guys thoughts are on that one. This one stuck a bell already. Sweet. So I can uh, figure out what I'm going to be doing. Okay. This I want to get course place set up on, so I need to get record course. So let me know what you guys want to see. I'm kind of hoping to be perfectly honest for you for like the hour long video is just two hour long and during the week. So one hour, one week, one hour the next, and then regular scheduled videos in theory. Because I need to know fairly quick because I leave on the 15th. Shut up, phone. Oh, did, did I actually make it so it's 
That's it, really. Great. How to screw up on the course, 101. I don't know what I did wrong there. I should have. I could have backed up a couple of waypoints, but I've never had much luck with that. That's alright, we can just start over. And for some reason, the FPS seems all over the place. It's not. It's getting low here, but. Start recording. There's a, uh, the hunter was queued for an update. I bet it's that installed. Uh, before long, I'm going to have to invest in an external hard drive for this computer or something because I'm running out of room on my main drive. Got a few games on there. Of course, my Sega screw seriously again. Hopefully, it will. Sent no tutorial video, that's for damn sure. I was thinking if you're trying to rush stuff like that, get the course made, it screws up on that. Like that. There was absolutely no need for it. Oh my. Okay. Oh, and there's kids outside yet again. Oh, never mind. I have not seen a trailer push like that ever since the update came out. Resume. It's weird. Probably because I am partly loaded too, that's not going to help. Somehow I think this course is going to be a big flop. I know someone will come by and stuck on a tree. Okay, stop. Drive course. I know Moose was yesterday we were complaining about the trees. It's a shame you can't cut him or something along those lines. And I see where he's coming from on that. But again, realism in the UK. If the trace in the field is in the field, it's staying there. You generally don't hook him out from what I've seen. Really? You should be able to get past that. You generally don't just cut them down. Why that is, I don't know. That's the way it is. Are you kidding me? Hey Moose, I'm having your issues that you were last time. the bales, because this is what it's mainly going to be about today. Stuck in these, picking them up. I may end up just doing one field. I don't know yet. As soon as we've got these two done, I can start cultivating. Now I do have a... What is wrong with my FPS?
We are sinking lower than normal. Interesting. Let's have the bells. Okay, slow down. I know, you can go fast. But you won't be able to stop. So, Nixon Farm, where is it? It's coming. Uh, WBF has told me that there's a new layout for the brand new version that will be out at some point. It's got a lot of work to come yet. But... The uh, farm layout, he said he would... Put in the older version. Basically the new version, for what I understand, is just going to have animal side of it. That doesn't entertain me on that map. I want more arable, and the farm farmyard's supposed to be more coarse play friendly, from what he was saying. So, bonus on that one for me. Not going to be long before we have to uh, pick that up. Actually, I think we do. I can't remember how full we get. That's a good check. Unload just like that. Now go see what the fast track smile function is. It's probably driven into a hedge. I can almost guarantee you. Yep. Again, no need. this back, get the next lot of bales loaded on at least. Get them under cover, that's what we're mainly going to be doing. I'm hoping I don't have to babysit them too much. But Moose, I feel your pain from what I'm seeing right now. So I still need to record a forestry Wednesday too. That'll probably do later tonight, today being Thursday. I'm recording and uploading the same day right now. I'm usually at least a day ahead of myself. But I'll get back on track for... Uh, hopefully Saturday I'll get back on track. Yesterday with the heat, I ended up just playing the fishing game. I explained what was going on on Facebook. So if you don't, haven't followed me on Facebook or liked my fan page, go like that. The links are in the description. I don't know how many people don't look at the description. Uh, I think quite a bit, judging by some of the questions I get asked. But in there is my uh, social media pages, Facebook and Twitter. Twitter should be in there anyway. And my Twitch page. So I suggest, uh, strongly suggest, go into like, follow Twitter and Twitch, so you'll get notified when the new videos come up, and also really what's going on at Facebook for the picture side of stuff. Okay, that works. Good. Right at the minute, um, if you guys are interested in the fishing game, that is, I have been posting pictures of that on there. Just of sort of my the catches. And I must say, that video does video? No. The game looks stunning. It's definitely the best fishing game to date. Um, kind of question if Dovetail Games have got competition. They, uh, the guys who make the fishing game, I'm on about Planet Fishing, Fishing Planet, one of the two, say they don't think Dovetail is competition because Dovetail mainly do carp fishing, well, Dovetail have always said that they're not just going to do carp fishing. How true is that now? Who knows? Right now, from what I'm seeing from Dovetail is... It's boring. To be completely and utterly honest with you, it is boring. It's ridiculously boring, actually. 
I guess it is just like carp fishing. Carp fishing, you just sit there and really twiddle your thumbs and not do a whole lot. But you've got stuff to do when you carp fish. You got friends to talk to. You got you bring stuff to do along with waiting for the bite. This game, you are physically just sat in a game, looking at your computer screen, doing sweet all. <laughs> So in that aspect of gameplay, it's boring. Where the other game that I'm on about, I've got close beta. You've got spinning in there, lures, exciting bass fishing. If you find a hot spot, you're on the fish. Like I've found a hot spot on the starting lake that you you get to go to. With a bass rig, I've got. I'm guaranteed every cast almost. I'll get a fish. It's amazing. Alright, we'll hold off in here. Go stack. Okay, you seem to be behaving yourself now. Alright, I've just seen what I just saw there. front, the baler on the back, so I can move it out of the way. The thing about these telehandlers is there is, I knew to do that, there are versions of these, these telehandlers, this ma manufacturer, the Melo, the Melo, however you want to say it, that actually have PTOs and three point hitches on the back. If you look, there is a video on YouTube, and as the saying goes, I poop you not, but use another language. This thing is ploughing. It may be only a four furrow plough, but it is ploughing. <laughs> Amazing. Can believe it. Okay, you drove in a tree. I'll, I'll give you that. Right now, Moose will probably be going, See? They're annoying. <laughs> or in his voice. I know. You guys know what I mean. Magically lift our Oh, don't fall. Put our full of steel on too. And go stack. Now I believe over the right hand side of me is a sow point for straw bales. There's one at the farm I believe and there's one here. I don't understand why they would do that. I would prefer to nuke that and have one cell point on the farm. And really, I th well, not even on the farm, I think it should be down on the store. And keep this for bale storage. I could use any of the barns, admittedly, but I like that one the most because it's already got the straw and whatnot down there. That really, yeah, it'd be easily easy to replicate that, just go in there, plough it, put some corn, or not corn, but a wheat or something in there, and get in a small combine, and it would, it would do it, that's all I've done. But I would rather those bales not be there, so you never know in the next version of this, that if another version ever comes out. That it may, that may happen. Time will tell on that one. I think I'm gonna need a coffee. I didn't start my day off right. Come on. I desperately need more fuel. 
We got a fuel tank too, so down here. Wanna kinda get these stacks nice compared to what those were like. So I'm spending the time and of course we've got the course play going. As I was saying, depending on the costs, word is that we may, on the farm, that we may be getting a bigger case tractor. It's something pretty special. I did that again, didn't I? So we may be upgrading to a little more horsepower on our case. A little bit bigger physical size too, some of you may not may or may not know the version that I'm talking about. I know I've not done anything. Shown anyone about it, but I like to say time and time on that one. Yeah, it looks like we will need to bail that over field. Oh, that's good. Well, maybe not actually, we've still got partial stack. I may just stack all of it, because there's money that could be there. Could be actually used. And then just sell them all. That'll go store them down at the other yard. That's always an option. Give me an excuse to take this to the main farm to fuel it up too. Let's face it, if this has realistically got six litres, we're running our own fumes. And real life we'll probably never get to that low on a farm before refill on it. And yeah, no doubt it does happen. I'm not saying it does or doesn't. You never want to run a diesel out of fuel. Not good for him at all. Last thing you want is getting air airlocks in the system. And crack the injectors to bleed it. Uh, bleed it. The older style diesels is a lot more easier. You've got pretty much the injector pump right in front of you. So you can see the fast track is slipping again, so we'll have to go see what its malfunction yet again. If it's a screw up I made, I don't care, but stuff like this. Well, that kind of pisses me off where <laughs> it's. Shouldn't be doing that. I love the fact you can't drive through the hedges, but sometimes for course play, stuff like that, like it's no, stuck in traffic this time. That kind of pisses me off about it. Ah, oh, it's probably going to screw up again. I don't think I've ever had course play scrub that much in one field. Maybe I have to take half of that load. Okay, park this over here. Yeah. Alright, you're behaving now. Check for cars, yeah, we'll wait for you. Come on, slow boat. I put, I swear, I put the fast car mod in. And you're still going real slow. Hmm. Evidently, I didn't put that in.
pump. I can unload it from the trailer with this trailer, but I <laughs> wish I got it on camera. But it's screwed up, and it's screwed up big time. Like I had to restart the game without saving. The detection from that trailer looks amazing. And I saw someone said about this trailer would be used to oil and soil or stuff like that. And yeah, I there's no ifs and buts on that one. I completely agree. This is definitely probably not used for grain. This is where I'll break realism for something that looks fantastic. Yeah, I cut that way to It'll start to slip, but it should fix itself. Oh well, hopefully it'll fix itself. Looks like I'm gonna have to. Take two rails at some point and put them on top of the stacks. Annoyingly. Let's yeah, see if I fix this up. Cool. So, I've, as I say when I do this, hopefully, you guys don't find me running the 30 handle and boring. I, mean, I I enjoy this. I really do. Because I've never never played with the bales much in farms before. Because the ha physics on them were crap. This one, they're they're solid for the bales. They are pretty damn solid. It must be said. I still feel they're somewhat a little lighter than they should be. I don't know what these big bales would usually weigh. I guess a, it depends on a lot of stuff. Straw, obviously, lighter than hay. I would have thought. But there's no sec big secret. I don't know a whole lot when it comes down to weights and stuff like that. Some stuff I know, but there's a lot that I don't. Don't do that. I don't want to ruin a nice stack. And just push it, nudge it in. Yep. Uh, that's gonna be irritating having to do that. Rather send the trailer back on a full load. And I, honestly, guys, this video was only supposed to be a short one. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So, yeah, I do apologize if you guys find this boring, but it's. It's work that needs to get done. I try and keep. I do try and keep these videos like real as possible too. Like, this is it. You get some people that would probably fast time and want not for it. I'm actually going to try something a little different tonight. Usually, I record to a a separate 500 gig hard drive that just has nothing but stuff to do with fraps and video making on there. It's where my audio gets recorded to, too. Um, I'm going to try rendering the video to that hard drive, because I want to see if it speeds it up as it's got barely anything on it. Kind of interested to see if that helps. 
So as I said, my main hard drive is getting full and I am seeing the render times go up and I bet it's because of that. If that's the case, awesome, at least I know what's going on. It's from a computer that could render a video in like 30 minutes, well not 30, but 40 to 50 minutes, has now gone up to an hour and a half again. That's why I mean I may need to get a second, whoa, an external hard drive to record to, like a fast one, USB 3 one. I wouldn't mind getting myself an external hard drive too. A fairly big one, some beefy one so I can back files up onto. Like pictures, stuff like that. Music. Not necessarily mods. The mods I don't care about, I can download them whenever I want. Really, probably should go full high. I did on that one. Why didn't it stack full high? Hmm. Yeah, I thought that bit of a trailer did go full high. I'm gonna have to look into that now. Well, that was a bad pickup. Sounds like it's raining outside too. Supposed to. That'd be nice. Get everything cool again. Right, the last couple of stacks going into the barn. I think you use the straw bears already there for only just spreading in the. No, because there's a threat of rain in our weather report on this morning, as I was getting ready to head out to the combine, we'll uh, get these under shelter. Alrighty, stacked. And that means screenshot time. Screenshot taken. I should remember to. Okay. Uh, one liter, yes. Okay. That wouldn't even make it back to the farm. I'll fill this up and I'm going to call it a video. Oh, the combine's been blocked for how long? Really? Oh, are you kidding me? I was hoping this field would be done. Stupid piece of... Shh. Oh, 119 litres back in the deck. So we'll leave that as it is. Parker up here. So I want to go up to the bells. I want to try something. I'd have to. I installed a mod where you can feed the bells. Well, I'll put the straw down. So if I need to test at some point. Oh, where is the John? The John Deere. Some of you get your minds out of the gutter. I know exactly what some of you are thinking of when I said that. I know that's well that's what the map looks like underneath. <laughs> because I would have thought the same thing. Hmm. I've not updated anything but this seems to slide a lot more than I should. This one's been edited, like I've said in the past, to have faster speed. Not necessarily speed, but more power. All 
Alrighty, last time parked, 35 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you tomorrow for... Uh, Forestry Friday. Catch you guys later.